everyone and welcome to Faith at Home. We think it's really important to pray, worship and read the Bible together as a family. So to encourage you, we've put together a little devotion that you can do as a family. We'll start with our big question, then the stories will share our reading and a prayer and then the lovely Hannah is going to introduce our activity for today. Today's big question is inside this box. Shall we open it up together? Inside is a little clue. It's a magnifying glass. Any guesses as to what our big question is yet? Here goes. Where is God? Now would be a great time to pause our video and discuss the big question for today. Where can you find God in the everyday? Today our Bible reading is from Psalm 42. And here the author is writing a prayer and a song to God. He's away from his home and he realises that he was missing his church. In verse 4, he says that he remembers his church. He remembers how he used to go to the house of God. And his friends and some of his enemies are even asking him the question, Where is God? Verse 3 talks about him being really sad and he says this in verse 3. People say to me all day and night, where is your God? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Lord Jesus, we pray that you would help us in the midst of this time to find you, to look for you, in all the beautiful things we see outside, in the sunsets, in the sky, in the flowers that grow, in the conversations we have with our family, in the love that other people share. We pray, Lord, that we would see you in all of those things. Thank you, Lord God, that even when times are difficult and we have lots of questions we thank you that you are still with us and that you can still be found amen thanks so much over to hannah to show us today's activity for the day hello oh, hi rachel hi everyone how are you doing welcome to hannah's craft corner Today we're looking at where is God and seeing where he is all around us. So today we're going to be making some binoculars. So I'm going to ask my camera woman to come a little bit closer. So what I've done is got two loo rolls and stuck them together with some sellotape. Um, but you could just use some paper or card. Um, and then I've wrapped them with some paper and decorated. So I've put where is God and uh, lots of little question marks. Um, and what you can also do, which I've done, is put some little holes in each side um, and attack some string like this. Um, so you can get an adult to help you with that bit. It's, it's quite tricky. But yeah, so then you can wear these around the house. See what you can find. Let me know how you get on. Where is God? <laughs> Hello. So I'm just going to take you on a quick tour of my house because we've been thinking of where we see God in our everyday. So I'm gonna show you where I see God. So if you wanna get your binoculars ready, brilliant. Let's have a go at look over here. So here we have a house plant, which is um, obviously with nature and the outside. If you have a garden, you can look in your garden. Um, and yeah, I just see God in this type of thing because he's created everything. It shows how creative he is. Um, so yeah, let's have another look. What have we got over here? Ah, oh, so I've got my water bottle over here. Um, let's have a let's have a turn. Mmm, it's good stuff. So I see God in providing for us, <laughs> giving us fresh water. My camera woman is laughing because I'm hilarious. Um, so yeah, I see God providing for us and giving us everything we need. Uh, what else have we got? Ah. Um, oh. So here we've got some coloured pens um, 
And I put these in because I personally love to colour and draw, as you might have guessed from Hannah's Craft Corner. Um, so yeah, and I see God in all the skills and the gifts he's given us. So yeah, those are three things in my house that remind me of God. So why don't you have a little think this week about where you see God in your house and share it with your family. Okay, bye! We hope you enjoyed this video. We'd love to hear your feedback so we can make it even better next time. Have a great day. Goodbye for now.